Hey, I'm back with another tea review from David's Tea, and today I'm going to review birthday cake. So it seems to me that birthday cake's another one of kind of like a David's Tea classic that people go crazy for, kind of an entry level one. Um, they, if you like dessert teas like this, it seems like everybody loves it. Um, so it's a rooibos tea. It's a sweet and festive rooibos blend that brings the taste of birthday cake to your cup any day of the year. Sprinkles and all. Red and green rooibos, honey brush, sprinkles, ice cream bits, natural and artificial flavoring contains milk and soy. Um, one to two perfect spoons for 16 ounces. And put it 200 degrees for four to five minutes. Caffeine free. So, I've had this before, and honestly, controversially, it did not blow my socks off that time. I tried it twice, actually, but it was right after, one after another, because I was like, did I not make it strong enough? Like, what's going on here? Because I expected to, like, absolutely love it. I think it's supposed to be more of, like, a vanilla cake. Um, so, I was a little bit weirded out that I didn't love it more than I did. But the other teas that I got were all super duper flavorful for the most part, um, at that point anyway. So I, maybe that's all it was, is that it was just a more mild flavor and I was expecting a lot more flavor like the other ones. So we shall see how it is this time. I brewed it for about four or five minutes and it comes out this nice amber color. It's still quite hot, so I'm, I'm kind of like wasting a little bit of time. Um, because of that, but I think we're gonna be okay. I should smell this again. So it smells kind of like vanilla frosting flavoring, like a vanilla frosting candle or something like that. Like artificial vanilla frosting, but better than that because I hate that smell and it, like with all the tea and stuff in there, it smells better than that. But that's kind of around, all around the lines. I, I would say, it, yeah, it kind of smells like tea mixed with vanilla frosting, I guess. Yeah, so in this one you can taste the rooibos tea a lot more than like some of the other ones with stronger flavors, which I do really like. It's very yummy. It's like, oh, it's definitely like a sweeter, it's not really sweet, it's mildly sweet, just a touch of it, probably from the sprinkles and the little ice cream bits. Now I noticed since that the ice cream bits never really melt all the way in my like things, like chocolate or whatever, they usually melt so it's no longer in there. And like the marshmallows melt quite a bit in the chai tea, so these seem like the little ice cream bits, they never seem to really break down. But, I mean, it's really smooth. It's a lightly sweet, like, rooibos tea. To me, it's not anything, like, crazy. There's just a nice smooth vanilla to it, and it smells really good. I mean, it's a nice cup of tea, but it's definitely more tea than, like, and less flavor than most of them. And again, like, sometimes I think I'm doing it wrong because people, like, freak out about it so much. But... To each their own this is just how mine my opinion happens to land on this one is that I like it I don't know if I'm gonna buy it again like I, I don't know I'm kind of like neutral on this one I'm not like bummed out about it I'm not upset that I bought it but it's just I'm neutral on it so that's the review for now kind of a short one and yeah, so tune in next time and subscribe if you want to hear more, more tea reviews and my other obsessions. Bye!